which is the best degree to become a CEO? To understand that, let's first take a quick look at what you will do as a CEO. Sounds like too much work, right? Why should you even think of becoming a CEO? We could talk about all the wonderful philosophical reasons to inspire you, but you did not come here looking for spiritual enlightenment. So let's just talk about one time-tested reason that is sufficient for many. Eye-popping, mouth-watering CEO salaries. How much do CEOs earn? You can be the CEO of a small startup or that of a company employing thousands of people. Whatever the size of your organization, you're likely to have put in extended working hours, shoulder a lot of stress and often live out of a suitcase. The main perks are of course, prestige and salary. The average CEO annual pay at the top 350 US companies last year was $27.8 million. This includes stock awards as well. Here's a glimpse at the highest paid CEOs in the US. Are you convinced now that becoming a CEO is worth it? Excellent. Let's now turn to the main question. Which is the best degree to become a CEO? Let's start off with undergraduate degrees. A formal degree is important as it gives the CEO aspirant exposure to a number of disciplines. But what degree and from where? One from an Ivy League school or any top tier institution is obviously the best qualification to begin with as it will immediately point to the candidate's academic quality. You need to select the degree major based on how relevant it would be to the industry in which you hope to shine. For example, if you want to be the CEO of a health company someday, you'll have to earn a degree in health administration. But you cannot stop there. You would have to follow up a bachelor's degree with an MBA, carefully choosing the electives that will prepare you for healthcare. Bachelor's degrees in accounting, business, economics, finance, and management are common qualifications of CEOs. Other bachelor's degree holders, for example, those who majored in business or public administration or law can rise to the top. But again, not without burning some midnight oil to learn economics and finance. CEOs also need to be well-versed in laws and regulations, technology tools, and human resource management, and possess excellent communication and people skills. Undergrad degrees in business studies and finance-related subjects equip the student with management and marketing skills, and knowledge of math and statistics. A good program would also include an internship which would teach practical aspects of managing a business. If your bachelor's degree did not cover all of it, you can always take additional courses and certifications to bridge the gap. Engineering and business administration are the most common undergrad degrees among CEOs. And surveys have found that nearly 45% of Fortune 500 CEOs have majored in these two areas. Engineering degrees address diverse areas such as computers, chemicals, civil, electrical, and mechanical and graduates are able to enter various industries. Business majors, on the other hand, study accounting, economics, finance, marketing, and sales, besides business management. They also pick up creative thinking, decision-making, organizational development, and leadership skills. However, core engineering and business majors don't have a monopoly over CEO positions. Many CEOs have majored in computer science, history, and political science, for example. While computer science graduates can enter all industries, as all sectors use computer technology. A degree in history provides students with an informed perspective of the past, and political science makes students objective and analytical and comparative. Quite a few CEOs also hold degrees in liberal arts and public administration. Here are some CEOs with non-traditional undergrad degrees. But why are so many CEOs engineers? About one-third of the CEOs have undergrad degrees in engineering and about 11% of the graduates from business school. Why is engineering the most common undergrad degree among Fortune 500 CEOs? That's because they are strong candidates with the ability to focus on product innovation, apply their know-how to pay attention to the details, and be excellent problem solvers, manage risks in creative ways, and apply objective, quantitative, and analytical approach to business functions including recognizing the right talent for recruitment and overall growth. In more recent surveys, it has been observed that more than 50% of Fortune 100 CEOs 
have a degree in engineering, accounting or economics. Although some may lack people management and communication skills, emotional intelligence and leadership ability, companies feel these are teachable traits. On their part, quite a few engineers leave their main field of expertise and choose management because they want more money. They are disillusioned with their working conditions. They want to gain more self-esteem or they want to make a difference. So there are more engineering candidates for the top job. What about graduate degrees? Many future CEOs enter graduate school for an advanced degree in their favorite field or for a business management degree. An MBA is a common graduate degree held by many CEOs. MBA programs have specialized courses that improve the student's communication and leadership skills. The most popular MBA specializations to become a future CEO are finance, marketing, public policy, information technology, environment sustainability, and health administration. Electives such as strategic management, organizational theories, and managerial economics also prepare potential CEOs. As with your earlier undergrad degree, you need to pick a concentration that is relevant to the industry you have chosen. Advanced degree courses help you keep abreast of new trends and philosophies in the world of business and industry. They also make you a part of professional and alumni associations that improve your networking and give you vital knowledge and skills in your work environment. The training that an MBA degree provides can help you build the network and confidence for an executive life. According to an article by Time magazine, CEOs of 42.6% of Fortune 500 companies had an MBA and 18.5% had other master's degrees. About 30% only had a bachelor's degree. In more recent surveys, 22% of CEOs with an MBA degree run Fortune 500 companies. This is more pronounced in USA. Among the total number of CEOs in Fortune 500 companies in the USA, 69% are MBA graduates. CEOs in China, France and the UK follow a similar trend, but this still leaves out a healthy portion to non-MBA CEOs with either engineering or even non-traditional backgrounds as we've mentioned earlier. Now, when it comes to business schools that help groom future CEOs, the big names are not always on the front seat. Among 39 CEOs who had an MBA, many earned their degrees from non-elite schools. For example, Walmart store CEO Doug McMillan. And some went to elite B schools. For example, Apple CEO Tim Cook. Which are the best MBA programs for CEOs? Here's a list of the top MBA programs that have contributed the largest number of CEOs to Fortune 500 companies. And here's a list of colleges with the most number of CEO alumni, inclusive of all degrees. Let's go beyond the degrees and look at some common CEO traits and qualities. CEO stories often have a romantic side to them. Some become legends for what they've done, like Mark Zuckerberg, who wanted to major in psychology and computer science from Harvard University, but dropped out to go to Palo Alto to work on Facebook. Dell founder Michael Dell left college to pursue business. Travis Kalanick, Uber CEO, went to study computer engineering at UCLA, but dropped out to work on Scour, a peer-to-peer -peer search engine. Then there is a little-known fellow called Bill Gates, who dropped out of Harvard University without even deciding on a major. These and other business leaders show that it's not just skills learned at college that make a CEO. It is true that university environment provides opportunities for networking and for establishing connections with other students, professors, companies and recruiters. Connections made in college provide invaluable resources for executives and internships offer students a chance to gain work expertise and meet top executives. But importantly, a CEO requires certain personality traits. She needs to be a good communicator, an extrovert, a strategist and a visionary, if general perception is to be believed. Jack Welch, former chairman and CEO of GE, is an example of an extrovert who even as a low-level engineering employee caught the attention of his bosses for his abilities. Someone who can demonstrate the key skills on top of being a leader in making. A disciplined innovative problem solver who has the requisite creative and analytical skills to support. Introverts make good CEOs too but they mostly stay away from the limelight, so the world incorrectly assumes all CEOs are extroverts. Many future CEOs start from lower level management positions and work their way to the top. They're smart enough to attend corporate management training programs that come their way. Many opt for voluntary certification that demonstrates knowledge and proficiency. 
Many express their commitment to their profession and company by showing a willingness to work hard and put in long hours if needed. And above all, they are willing to work through all that it takes to rise up the ladder, playing well with their talent and making use of the right timing and opportunities. Here's a sampling of the education profiles of top CEOs in the US. To sum up, here's what you need to do to improve your chances of becoming a CEO. First, earn a bachelor's degree in your selected industry. If you still have a choice, pick engineering or a business related degree as these are the most popular in terms of statistics. Second, get an MBA or any other relevant master's degree. Third, try to get a foothold in your target industry as early as possible to gain experience. Go for voluntary certifications that might help. And fourth, after gaining experience in your chosen industry, stick with one company for a number of years. This shows commitment. Remember, a large majority of CEOs are appointed from within the organizations. According to Forbes magazine, a combination of an engineering degree and an MBA from a top business school seems to be the most likely to lead to a CEO's position. An MBA with a focus in marketing, HR and corporate strategy is a good combination for someone who hopes to lead a company someday. Finance, economics, or corporate or labor law degrees. Also prepare you to look at corporations from the point of view of someone at the top. MBA crystal ball can help you get into the top business schools and take you one step closer to becoming a rock star CEO. Drop us an email if you need professional help with your MBA applications or general career counseling. Good luck.